What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, Monster Hobbies, Monster Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another great unboxing video. So today we are looking at one that I actually had in my hobby shop years ago. I sold this one to my dad years ago. And then when my dad passed away, I ended up inheriting it back again. And what I'm going to do is eventually I'm going to build this thing. This is the IH or IMC, pardon me, tanker trailer model kit. This thing is really old. It was rare when I had it. Now it's even more rare that I have it back again. But uh, this is pretty cool because you can build it as a Dow chemical tanker. You can also build it with a shortened tank for building a dairy truck. And one thing that is cool is, so you may be wondering what happened sort of to me with YouTube and the internet in general. Well, basically, I ended up having to take a job back in middle October 2022, and I ended up working at one of the local grocery stores, and they, in fact, moved me from just being in grocery into dairy. So building this dairy one will be really kind of special, and because this was one of my dad's, that's special too. So without further ado, Danny the dog and I will now go down to the bench and show you what's in this great box. So now we get on the road again with this big rig tanker trailer. Now this is a really cool vintage model kit from IMC and it says a dynamic companion for your favorite truck tractor. And it does show some interesting uh, tractors up here. This is one of the old Ford ones from, I think these came out about 1958 or something, 60 perhaps. But again, look at the nice big detailing on this. It shows the doors in the back, the IMC license plate molded in 125th scale. Also got these IMC mud flaps, which are really cool. I do believe IMC eventually got bought up by AMT. If you know the answer to that one, leave it in the comment section down below. Now, as we turn the box up on the side, this almost looks like one of those Dodge trucks right here. Uh, I forget the model number. But there is our tanker. Now this is a chemical one here for Dow Chemicals. It says here's a trailer that's high, wide, handsome, and then some. It's IMC's rugged and reliable 38-foot tanker presented in authentic 125th scale for the model truck enthusiast. This rig is big in every way. Uh, not only in size, but in detail, with styling and workmanship inside and out. This exclusive design provides you with the option of building either a single axle version for inner city use or a tandem axle rig for those cross country hauls. Both versions are equipped with air brake assemblies and full suspension, plus opening hatch and rear doors, inner compartment, and vinyl pumping hose. Kit comes complete with running lights and lamps, I think, or Anyway, full color decals. Sorry, there's a crease right in there. Truck tractor not included in kit. Now, as we turn the tanker up onto this side of the box, it says tanker trim, tanker rear axle with full suspension, inner compartment with vinyl pumping hose, opening hatch and service ladders, alternate city version with single axle, detailed air brake assembly, Goodyear super high miler vinyl tires, hinged rear doors, colorful big rig decals. Now, like I was saying, I got that job working in the dairy, so hopefully I can use these decals, although, as you will see, they are quite, quite old. Well, Danny, what do you say? I think it's time to take the lid off this box. Roger that, big good buddy. Okay, so here we go. Let's take it off. All right, right away, we get to see the vintage decals. Now, Danny, you get to show everybody what these are toward the end of the video. And here's also the instructions, which you can show everybody. Oh boy, I can't wait. Now, this is kind of weird. There's a little uh, thing in here for a very old pizza place. I don't think that's actually part of the model. I don't know where that came from. There's an empty bag as well. But anyway, so like I was saying, this one I inherited from my dad and whatnot. And there's a lot of components here that are kind of in the works, but not quite. So there's the back end of the tanker. A little bit of a glue burn in there, but that's in the behind part. So again, lots of components. There's part of that nice dome for our tanker. 
And then we've also got the ladders up the side, which look a little bit wonky there, a little bent. There's one of the hatches. Again, really cool stuff. All the black components, of course, are the frame rails and whatnot. And little suspension details. And then any of the gray parts are body details, like these rails here. There's the other part of the tank. Now, it's kind of cool to note that this tank is in two pieces. So you can either have it like the length of the box, or you can add the additional bit to get it even longer for that double axle version. I'm not quite sure yet which one to make. The in-city or the cross-country. There's the bottom, and they are actually like angled at the bottom, which is really kind of cool. Okay, so now we're getting into the parts that were kind of built up. So we've got our wheels here. Now, yeah, somebody was working on this before, but... Yeah, so there's our dual springs for the back end. And then, of course, more of the components here, which I'll go over toward the middle of the video, after Danny does the instructions. There's those IMC mud flaps. Now that would be really cool to detail paint. And we've got our lights in here as well, plus many, many other goodies, quite a lot. So what I'll do is I'll clear this out of the way and I'll let Danny show you those instructions and then we'll get into the plastic components. Hey everybody, it's Danny the dog once again and we're going to be looking at this big rig tanker trailer instruction sheet. So as you can see, you get a nice little uh, rear three quarter picture of that. That was the one on the box top. And down here it says, before you begin, do not use parts marked blank for a short bed version. So it will show you which ones to use for the long trailer and which ones to use for the short. You also have a painting guide down here. So let's open this up and take a look at more of the instruction sheet. Panel 1 shows the primary frame assembly. It says, note, make sure cross members 1 and 2 form a 90 degree angles with left and right frame rails. Now this looks like the part in the box that might be already glued together, but uh, not too sure. So here it shows all the springs going on with the spring retainers, and there's the box for the frame rails. There's also an air expansion tank in two pieces which will all glue together to form a box. Panel 2 is showing our wheels and tires going together. So you've got the inner wheel to the inboard tire, and then the tire itself. Now there's two going in here. So there's our main wheel in the center, and then the other tire and the outer ring, just to hold this all together for the dual tires. And then down here in panel three, we have the axles. So there's the front axle and the brake backing plates, as well as the brake transfer boxes and the brake arms, air brake diaphragm assemblies right here. And there's the diaphragms up front. So these would come across this way. Panel 4 shows the secondary frame assembly. So here we can see our wheels going onto those axles, and then this being dropped onto the springs down here, same as this. And then we've also got these rods, which are going in the back here, and there's some going in there. And that is into our air brake diaphragms, so that would be the actual... Oh, those are the trailing arms to holes in the springs. So there it goes, this view showing upside down. There it is, right side up way. Panel 5 is showing the storage box assembly. So you get a wrench in there and you get this nice hose reel, a separator wall which will glue into here, and there's the bezel for going in the back. There's our hose rack to wrap the hose around, our vinyl hose, and the pump to the hole in the back here. Panel 6 is the primary assembly. This is for the tanker and this is a really long panel. So it says to cut out this hole for the stubby version if you just want this off the back of a truck and not as a big rig tanker trailer type thing. There is a panel here to reinforce the two pieces going together. And again, you, you glue the top and bottoms here. So this might not be needed for uh, the smaller version, but uh, definitely to hook up the larger. So let's just get Trevor to slide this over here for us. Oh, there we go. So here's the secondary part of the tank being glued together for the long version. Then you have the tail section, and the storage box from panel 5 would glue in back here. We also have opening doors with the hinges on the top as a pin, so that would pull out. And you get two door handles right and left for the back end. 
Now panel 7 shows our secondary assembly, which is the optional dolly wheels being put in place. If you wanted just to display this at the side of the road without being hooked up to an actual trailer. Here we've got our kingpin plate, which you glue in there underneath the entire tanks. There's a bar and our mud flaps being glued on. And then we have our rear suspension dropping in place. And these are also support frame rails. So if this goes across here, that would really hold it together nice and tight. And here's our final assembly in panel 8. Now this is where all the goodies go on. So here's locations for decals, which we'll take a look at at the end of the video. That's me again. Here's the side rails for the trailer, which would go along... Looks like they go kind of down at the bottom of the tanker. And then we've got our tail lights and our license plates and our running lights back here. There's the two ladders. This is the hatch bottom and the hatch top. And that would go over that hole there, so this would open. And then we also have our lights up front here and the air hose fitting going underneath there. And side marker lights here and the cranks for those dollies so they swing up. Now if you've built this model in the past, let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to see it on our Facebook page. And on the back of the instructions, there's actually some cool old advertisements. It says, tote your shop wherever you want to go with the paint toter. This looks like the old uh, testers paint rack used to be able to get. I, I think they still make this, but I'm not too sure. And then down here it says, hitch your favorite cab to these other fine big rig trailers by IMC. The heavy duty flatbed trailer and the 36 foot box or 36 foot semi box trailer. Now, I don't know if AMT actually bought the molds for this or what actually happened to this. So if you know, let us know in the comments below. So now I'll let Trevor show you the plastic parts and I'll get ready for the decal sheet. The big rig tanker trailer is actually divided into three colored components. So we have black and of course our rubber tires are in there and the gray. And then we have a lot of transparent red, which I've put in this bag that came in the model. Now I did notice that there is something missing out of here, which we'll take a look at later. But for now, let's start with our gray parts and see what they look like. So the first components we can look at are the actual tanker body itself. Now this is designed to be either built really, really long with the extensions or to be built just short off the back of like a, a smaller truck, like a Ford C750 or something like that. Now, so this would be the big rig style. You can see how it fits together nicely in here with the overlap. We also have the overlap for the top that's basically those little pins that are sitting on the edge. And then that would go in there. And then you get your long tank. And then what would happen is you would glue the top to the bottom. Sort of something like this. And that's what you would end up with, this nice round tank. So underneath we do have some ribs. This is a mounting location for the rear axles. And uh, all the rest of that kind of good stuff. It does look quite nice. Now if you do want to build this for that Ford truck, you would have to drill this out right in here, that hole, and then put in the uh, hatch up in there. Or if you're building it as the extended, then the hatch is right in here. And uh, again, this would basically glue up something like that. And then the two would sit together, <laughs> something like that. So here we have the back of the tanker. And it's got this cutout notch here that is for our storage box. And this would be the divider that goes in here, just like this. You know, so there's our shelf there. And then we have our doors here. These are the roof hatches. And then we also have these uh, nice support rails that go along the side of the tanker. And these are also part of the frame for the extended tanker. These notches would fit into the bars underneath. So again, this is quite nice. The detail on this is rather simplistic. So just take the shelf out for a minute. Now on the back, you've got these notches in here, and that would be for the doors, which would be going in this way. You can see how thin those hood hinges are. Okay, so that would go there. This would go here. And then there's some notches here in that uh, box. 
So those would go up here. And once it's all glued together, you would have your opening and closing doors going in here. There it looks a little bit low, but maybe we can fix that up later. Or maybe it's I got them in backwards. This is just a bit of a mock-up. But again, you can see how nice that would be once you get it all together. And then there's our hatches. Now I am missing one of the lids, so I could only use one of these hatches. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. A couple of mold marks in the back here that could get filled, but I do think they'd be glued down so you wouldn't see them. Also remember to get rid of the burrs. Somebody had started this kit a long, long time ago, so... There is also a, an angled off taper on these side runners. So again, just take a look at the instructions as to where they all go. On this part sprue, we have the hose reel, the hatch, the pump, and all the components that go inside that service box at the back of the truck. We also have our side ladders up here, and this is that bridge piece for making the smaller tanker. So again, nice work in here. There is quite a bit of mold marks on the back. But again, this is really simplistic. I mean, these panels are all really flat. Well, that would be the wrench that goes in the box as well. So again, you can see just how nice this is and simple. Shouldn't really take you too long to put this tanker together. Now here are the components that make up the suspension underneath. Now this is our frame rail box, which somebody started to glue together. One of the spring shackles is actually sitting right here. And then there's our air canister and the little brace bar that's supposed to go in here somewhere. Then we have our rear axles. Now, unfortunately, this one is actually broken. There's the pin for it sitting there. And here's our wheel back. And then we also have all the other suspension components inside here, and some are loose. And there's our air brake diaphragms as well. But down here are the rods that are supposed to go into those. And then there's the air brakes that were never built. So, again, it's not bad. The detail is quite simplistic on it, with these springs actually being the better of the components. Oops, and this thing is not glued together too well. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. Again, being very simplistic. This funny spider thing sitting here is actually the spare tire holder. So if we happen to have some spare tires, they will fit in like that actually two of them, and this will glue up underneath on the tanker, so that's always good. And I do have some spare tires from something else that were included. Again, uh, the rear axles, I'm not quite too sure how I'm going to fix this up because somebody glued them together. Hopefully they're not too bad. Now the broken one will go back together, but uh, the wheel backing plate, I'm going to have to fidget with it in order to get it on there. Unfortunately, this is sort of the risk you take when you're getting second-hand models. Here we have the secondary black components. We've got those great IMC mud flaps, which are really cool. This plate here is the uh, center wheel for hooking up to your trailer. And then here we've got the dolly wheel stands, which would be... there's four of those. Then I do believe this is part of the rear bumper assembly, like a step. Not quite sure where this goes. I haven't found it in the instructions. And then we've got our dolly wheels in here as well. And this is the rubber hose for the milk to come out of, or the oil or whatever the tanker is going to be. See, again, it's quite flexible, which is really cool. You might need crazy glue on the end. There's a coupler on the end of the hose as well. So, again, quite simple. I mean, these are just basically designed to look like the parts. So not too much going on there. But overall, quite nice. There's the IMC logo right in there. So that'd be quite nice to dry brush across there, just to see how it turned out. There's a little pin for hooking up to your trailer on the fifth wheel. We also have the crank for those uh, d wheel dollies to crank them down. And here is the IHC or IMC license plate. There's a lot of flash on it. So that would all have to be cleaned up. But overall, again, quite simplistic. Next up, we get into our clear transparent components. These all consist of red tail lamps or side marker lamps. So there's not too much going on. But there is a nice little detail in them, which is like the circular pattern. Again, quite nice if we can get this in focus. There we go. 
uh, quite nice, but again, quite simplistic. So it's just a matter of putting these in the right spot, and there you go. And that leads us to our wheels and tires. Now, I couldn't really figure out why my dad never built this, because it is quite a cool kit. And then I realized, or discovered by opening this up, that it's actually missing a second tire and all the wheel components in here to make up the fourth wheel in this entire set. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this because, well, based on the vintage of the kit and everything, where am I going to find these wheels? And it's also like the dual wheel axle and all the rest. So if anybody has any spares out there, maybe you can help me out. I don't know if they need to be uh, IMC in particular. Maybe they do. I'm not sure. But anyway... Well, I can figure that out later. Maybe somebody's got a parts box with one wheel sitting in it. <laughs> Who knows? But, uh, so, ooh, so there you get an inner wheel, the wheel back, and then a ring for the front of that wheel. And these tires, again, are quite nice. They're Goodyear's. Somebody's got some paint on them. But they are Goodyear's, and they do have the Goodyear logo on there, as well as the little boxes for detail information and whatnot. The tread pattern is quite nice, but they do need a good cleaning up to get rid of all these little uh, bumps in the seam lines to make it look roadworthy. I do like that steel wheel. That is quite nice on there. It looks vintage, like something you'd find on the Mack truck or something from like the 20s. But again, so let's see here, this would go in here. Yeah, these tires are really stiff too. That's from years of basically sitting around. Actually, it was this way. And then this was through the back. Yeah, that's the other thing. The wheel back and all that is gone. So yeah, I'm not quite too sure. Maybe there's like a big rig out there that has a single axle or dually you know, axle option, and then I could build that truck as a single and uh, get the extra wheels off this. Or, you know, maybe I can mount this onto that Ford Louisville truck or something and not have to worry about the actual rear wheels. Just put the tank on the top. Anyway, uh, let me know how you would solve this problem in the comments below. Well, that's too bad about those tires, Trevor, but here I am with the decal sheet so you can see just how cool this is. Now this is a really old decal sheet and what can happen is when the decals get into water they could crackle and explode. I don't know if these would do it, but uh, to be safe you would try maybe one of these decals you don't really care about and uh, cut that out, put it in water, see what happens. If it does crackle, you can paint over top of this with spray paint. I do believe it's lacquer, I'm not too sure, but a clear lacquer sprayed over the top will actually prevent this from cracking once it hits the water because really the decal is coming off the paper backing there's a little bit of glue in between the image and the paper backing so that's what's coming off so anyway what we have here is we've got that nice uh, warning label kind of striping across the back that's for the rear bumper there's a flammable or non-flammable sticker to put on for the back of the truck this is a mesh for going on the hatch grid which is interesting they don't have two of those. Well, oh yeah, I guess there's only one cap, so it'll work out. There's a decal for Dow Chemicals, the Big Rig, and the Dairy Cow on here, which is really cool. Then we've got a Goodyear as well. And then we've got our tonnage decal and all the other information, as well as the IMC logo. And then caution, this vehicle stops at all railroad crossings. So just like the real thing. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that look at the IMC Tanker Trailer Model Kit. And if you love these unboxing videos and want to see more stuff on here, don't forget to pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're one of the first ones to know about it. Like, subscribe, and share to this channel, as well as click the like button so that this gets out there in the YouTube algorithm world. And until next time, everybody, Happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.